guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be what's inside my travel makeup bag. We're actually heading to Florida in a few days and I am so excited to just go on vacation and enjoy the nice, warm, beautiful, sunny weather because it has been so cold where I live. And then when we get, when we get back, we're actually heading to North Carolina with my family to head to the beach for a week, which will be so relaxing. I probably won't be wearing a ton of makeup that week, but I thought I would show you guys what's inside because these are kind of like my go-to products or, you know, the makeup that I use on a daily basis and my essentials, especially for warm weather and for the summertime. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's jump into it and I'll show you what I'm bringing. Okay, so for my main eyeshadow palette, I actually only brought one and then a few singles, which is crazy. I normally pack a bunch of them, but I decided to keep it a little bit on the smaller side because I've really been wearing the same shadows over and over. So these are all of my ColourPop single shadows. I have some of the warm orange shades on the left and then like the really pretty raspberry shades on the bottom right and then some high highlights and transitions on the top right. Then I just put a few single shadows in this palette as well that were missing from that palette. So on the bottom I have some of the ColourPop Press shadows, the middle are Coastal Scents, and the top are Makeup Geek. Then I just have the ColourPop Single Shadow in the shade Boy Band because it goes with a lot of the shadows that I chose in my other palettes. So this one is just a really pretty warm bronzy shade. It looks really beautiful if you want to just kind of amp it up a little bit and if I'm going out for dinner or something I thought this would be a good option. Then I have the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. This one is the oil control version. This is definitely a must have in the warmer weather. We're going to Florida, we're going to be going to Disney and Universal so I thought this would come in handy if I decide to wear makeup those days and if not it's just a good thing to have on hand. Then I have my Cover FX SPF 30 Protection Primer. I always make sure to use a primer with SPF in it. I actually have to pack my separate SPF for my face. I just realized I don't have that in my bag, which is obviously very important for daily wear, but especially if you're going to be outside in the sun a lot. So I have this primer, and then I also have my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is my absolute favorite, and I was going to try to pack the NYX Angel Veil because it's a little bit easier to pack in a travel makeup bag, but it's just not the same. This one is just the absolute best. It helps my foundation to go on perfectly, so I have to have it with me. I just wish it didn't come in a glass bottle for traveling purposes. Otherwise, I really like it. I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So these are my favorite. I have the shades 1.0 and 0.5. I'm mixing them currently. And these are a great option because they last all day long. They're very full coverage, and I feel like they will work in the warm weather. I haven't really had a lot of experience with them in the super hot weather, so we'll see. But this is my favorite full coverage foundation. And then I'm also bringing the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. This one is a lot more lightweight and a lot more comfortable on the skin. So I kind of have both ends of the spectrum. I will say this one still gives you a little bit of coverage. I really like this one in the hot weather because it is so, so lightweight. And I always set it with a powder, but I just like to have a really full coverage option and then a lot more of a lightweight just option to even out my skin tone. Then I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's the only concealer I'm bringing because it works with both of those foundation options. I wear the shade Fair Neutral, but it's great because it's lightweight, so you can pair it with the It Cosmetics CC Plus or also with the Urban Decay All Nighter just because I don't like wearing a super full coverage concealer with a full coverage foundation. So this one is great no matter what you're wearing. Then I have my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer ever. I really haven't been able to find anything else that I like as much as this this one, a lot of you guys told me to buy it, so thank you for your suggestion because it has become one of my favorite products. It's just like the perfect smooth bronzing powder. It's really beautiful. It helps to warm up the skin tone. So I brought this ColourPop Duo. This one is from the Sand Collection. It comes with a really beautiful warm peachy blush and a gorgeous highlight. This has been my favorite product ever. I've been using the blush on my face and also as an eyeshadow, so I knew I had to bring this one with me because I cannot get enough of it. I just love the formula of the their powder products, especially their eyeshadows, but their face products are quickly becoming my favorite. For blush, I brought the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush, which has been one of my favorites. It's just very beautiful on the face. It's a warm coral and it has a lot of shimmer in it, so it kind of gives you that glowing from within look, and you can skip the highlighter, skip the bronzer, and it looks really beautiful on its own or with those products as well. And then I have Benefits Dandelion, which is my favorite go-to like daily blush. I've hit pan on it. I'm so sad, but this is a really great 
option. It just helps to kind of brighten up your entire face. So I wanted to swatch them right next to each other so you guys can get an idea. The top one is the Too Faced blush and the bottom is Benefit. They're very subtle when you swatch them, but they just really kind of brighten up your entire face. So they're really fun for summertime. So I have been using the Smashbox Casey Holmes Pearl Palette a lot more lately. I didn't need to bring this one with me, but I am really trying to test it out a lot during the month of May. And since we're going to be traveling for a lot of the month, I wanted to make sure I had it with me. The lighter two shades are definitely my favorite. I've been wearing them when I want a really subtle highlight because it just kind of gives you more of a natural look, which I didn't know I like, but I actually really do like how they look on the face. So I've been a big fan of this one lately, so I wanted to make sure I brought it with me as well. And I had to have my Smashbox Contour Palette. As you guys can tell, this palette is well loved. It came in a holiday set that I got over the holidays. I did repurchase, or I purchased the full size of it because I love it so much, but this one is perfect for travel because it's really small, fits right in your bag. I hit pan on those two shades, though I don't really use the middle one as much because it's a little bit orange for me, but it makes a really pretty eyeshadow. As for setting powder, I only brought one. I brought Benefit's Hello Flawless Powder. This one is what I use to set my under eye concealer as well as the rest of my face. I go in with a damp beauty blender, and this shade is a little bit yellow for me, but it works. I've hit pan on it, and I just want to finish it up, so this is the only one I'm bringing with me. There is a spot for a sponge, but like I said, I just use a damp beauty blender, and that works perfectly for me. I brought my Becca Cosmetics Dual Coverage Compact Concealer, which I actually haven't been wearing a lot lately. I usually just skip it and go straight in with like foundation, but just in case I get like a super obvious breakout or I really want to cover up any, you know, acne scarring, I thought I would throw it in my bag because it's really small. It doesn't take up very much room at all anyways. And then for my brows, I have Benefit's Gimme Brow. I love this product so much. I just have a very small sample of it, but I love to use this on its own if I'm going like to the pool or the beach and I do want to wear makeup because sometimes Sometimes I do or I'll just wear it before I fill in my brows and it really locks everything into place and makes them look so much thicker and more voluminous. Then I have the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. You guys, this mascara is so good. If you haven't tried it yet, you have to try it. It is the only thing I wear. I don't wear false lashes anymore, which I have been using an eyelash serum, which definitely helps, but this one makes my lashes look so long, so I don't feel the need to wear false lashes. I just love it so much. So it's the only mascara I'm bringing. And then I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is a waterproof liquid eyeliner, and I have the shade Trooper. It is so good. I love it so much. It just is like the perfect dark black liquid liner. So easy to use and it makes doing wing glider so quick and easy. And even though, like even if you mess up your liner every single day like I do, this is really going to help speed up the process because it makes it so simple. If you do mess up your winged liner every single day like I do, then the e.l.f. makeup remover is going to be your best friend in the entire world. It's shaped like a pen, so all you have to do is like run it along the edge of your liquid liner and you'll get a super sharp, really just crisp winged liner. It comes in handy so often you would not believe it. I really need a new one, honestly, but I just love it so, so much. So I'll show you guys how it actually works. I'm just going to put a little liquid liner on my hand and let it dry and then I'll come back to it. So I'm bringing the e.l.f. Molten Liquid Shadow in the shade Molten Bronze. This has been one of my favorite products ever. I just did a video on some of my favorite e.l.f. products, but it's so easy to wear. It's so lightweight. So I thought this color just went really well with some of the other shadows that I'm bringing. Okay, back to the liquid liner. So all you do is take the pen, rub it back and forth, and it removes it completely. It's crazy. And then I just take my finger and kind of like wipe away any excess, and you cannot even notice it. So grab one of those. You will thank me later. Then I'm just using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I'm just trying to finish this one up this year, and it works really well for me. So I just have a mini size that's going in my bag. And then for my brows, I also use the Anastasia Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. My sister told me about this because she used it and it matches my eyebrows perfectly. I think the shade that I was using from Maybelline in the past was a little bit too dark, so I love this one because it's not as harsh and it just looks so much better with my hair color. Then I'm just bringing three different pencil liners. These are from ColourPop. They are their metallic pencil liners, and I use these in the waterline almost every single day. I usually reach for like the gold or the copper, but on occasion I like the bronze one. I like them because they just twist up. They're very pigmented. They break pretty easily, but honestly they just perform so well, so 
I just overlook it. Then of course I had to pack some tweezers just in case I need to tweeze my brows. I actually didn't pack any false lashes because I think I'm done with false lashes for a very long time. They're just such a pain. I'm so happy to be free of them. <laughs> then I just have a lip balm from the brand Tokyo Milk. I was trying to use this one up last year. It takes forever, but it, this one is like the best. It's in the scent or the flavor salted caramel. I have some of the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to wear these very often, but I wanted to have the option. They're really mini, so they fit in my bag perfectly, and they're really comfortable on the lips. They're on the nude or pink side, so I figured they went with the rest of the makeup that I'm bringing. The lip products that I'll probably end up wearing are these two. These are from Too Faced, and they are their creamy peach oil lip glosses. I brought two of them. These are the shades that I wear most often. The first one is Peach Fuzz, which is a really pretty light nude, and the second one is Peach Sickle, which is more of a, like, just warm coral shades. So these are really beautiful, really easy to wear and super comfortable. And then I have the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade In Demand. This is what I was wearing in the intro and it's my new favorite. So I had to make sure I threw it in my bag as well. And that's literally it for lip products. I think I might have like one or two lip glosses in my purse, but otherwise I'm not bringing anything else. So that is it. That's all the makeup I'm bringing. I mean, it kind of looks like a lot when I show you guys like this, this picture of it, but it's crazy. I used to bring so much more makeup with me and honestly, Honestly, chances are I won't even wear makeup half the time. So this bag is really convenient. On the top, I just throw my makeup remover cleansing cloths from e.l.f. and then I'll throw my brushes in here before we leave that morning. It's just a really cute bag that I got from Target. There's a section in the top as well. I usually throw like my face lotion, some hair products in there, and I'm good to go. So that's everything I brought. So I wanna hear from you guys. What is your number one makeup travel product? Like if you left home without it, like if you were traveling for a trip, you would be heartbroken if you didn't have it. I want to know. That might sound a little dramatic, but let me know what you guys bring with you. Do you pack a lot? Do you pack your essentials? Are you usually like wanting to branch out when you're on vacation? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.